Hello, hello guys, it's Alana for 20 here, and I'm back. And today I have another awesome redstone contraption for you guys. This time I'm showing off a wind detector, I'm calling it. Now, what is a wind detector? Basically, a wind detector is a system that detects which one of these pressure plates is pressed first, and then locks the other pressure plates so only the first one gets lit up. So let's give an example of that. Uh, as you saw in the intro of the video with the course over there, and if I throw an armor stand on this one, this pressure, uh, this light will light up. And now, no matter what other pressure plates I trigger, they, uh, they, the lights won't light up. Now, this is actually an old concept I had back in the day. Back in the day, I made a design that worked with only two pressure plates. This one works with up to five and is a tileable design. You can do it up to five uh, without getting into instant repeaters. Uh, in this video I'll show you how to make this version and as you can see right now this light is still on only once you hit a reset button will you be able to accept new winners so now let's do this one so this guy came in first now nothing else will work right, you see now this also works with ties so say for example uh, we hit the reset and then two two of these guys get get there at the exact same time whoops actually you know what let's uh show that off up here so i'm going to hit the reset on these guys these guys and i'm going to make it so these two minecarts uh get there at the exact same time let's give it a flick as you can see the minecarts are off and a tie between these two so ties work as well and this is just a little practical setup of that that over there we just have a detector rail that's going into the inputs and pistons taking the outputs out and you can reset it as you can see there so yeah that's the design uh, the way this works is we're using hopper locking so as you can see as soon as one of these pressure plates gets triggered it set it locks all of the other hoppers and uh, the way we're doing that is we're actually using uh, basically I'm calling it a a, a a community line and a individual line so the community line and is also the reason why uh, why we can have only up to five is a line going on on top over here this line will get powered if any one of the uh, the inputs tur gets turned on because all inputs have this repeater going out turning on the community line what this community line does does is it locks all the hoppers and it loops back into a repeater which locks which turns on the input as well so you can see that as soon as one pressure plate gets turned on all the inputs get turned on and that causes all of these repeaters to actually turn into state cells which keep their current state and until this hopper is unlocked it'll keep its state and the way we uh, we unlock it is by retracting these blocks basically destroying the closed loop we're getting from this repeater and this repeater uh, and basically once that closed loop is is uh open everything resets so yeah that's basically a uh, rundown of how it works now let's get uh, started with the tutorial uh, first thing you're going to want to do is put down your two inputs now these inputs need to be three blocks away uh, two blocks away from each other so we place three blocks and put redstone dust on top next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to place blo blocks like so place down a block over here and come over here now we put down our first repeater over here uh, actually these blocks need to be here we put another repeater going over here and another repeater facing into this repeater good next you're going to want to come up and place two blocks over here and place redstone redstone dust everything you do over here you do on the other one as well so let me actually just do that right now so place down these blocks redstone block here repeater 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 and two blocks very good now uh, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to place 
blocks up here like so and blocks up here like so. Uh, the reason we're building up two is obviously just having one cell you won't really see much uh, but with this you could just keep on doing this pattern again. So next let's actually just signal our output so we have a nice visual indicator. Place down redstone dust all above here. This is the community line and now last thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to place a block up here a block here and a block here same thing over here so block up here block here and block here and place repeaters facing into this block above the input with redstone dust on the back very good we're almost done last thing you're going to want to do is place a sticky piston facing down which will pull up this block. You do that over here and you do that over here. So like this. Now place half slabs where the pistons are and place full blocks everywhere else. And last thing, place redstone torches next to the piston. Make sure the redstone torch is above the repeater just like in this, in this instance here. Otherwise you'll have some problems. And place redstone dust on the top that's it. Uh, we have finished making two of these cells. You could keep on ma making these cells, adding them to the left or to the right. This is what an individual cell looks like for, for those of you who want to see just one. And let's just show you guys that this is indeed working. Uh, the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to put two repeaters over here and I'm going to set this one to one tick, this one to two ticks. And now when we power them both at the exact same time, You'll see that this this light turns on, but this light doesn't because this one is faster. Now, once we turn it off, it st stays on. And if we quickly uh, trigger this line, you can see the lights got reset. So anyway, guys, hope you all enjoyed this video. Please leave a like down below. Tell me what you think in the comment section. Uh, make sure to subscribe if you're not already. And I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.